If you open up a costume or backdrop in Scratch and see the Convert to Vector button at the bottom of the screen, you know you're working with a bitmap image. The brush tool allows you to draw new shapes like you would with a brush or pencil, and you can change the size of the brush to smaller or larger at the top of the screen. You can draw straight lines with the line by clicking and dragging, and you can change the size and color of the line at the top. The Circle tool allows you to draw ovals and circles that are filled in or just an outline using the two buttons at the top of the screen. If you want a perfect circle, hold Shift when drawing the circle, and hold the Alt or Option key to draw a circle with the center of the circle where you first click. You can even press and hold the shift and alt keys at the same time to make a perfect circle where you first click and drag. The rectangle tool is very similar to the circle tool in that you can create filled or unfilled rectangles by clicking and dragging, create perfect squares by holding shift, or create a rectangle with the center where you click by holding alt or option. The text tool allows you to add in text by clicking, typing, changing the font, and then dragging and resizing as needed. However, once you place the text, you can't change it without erasing it and starting over, so double check to make sure it looks good. The fill tool allows you to change the color of different parts of your image. Simply select a color and click on your image to change from one color to another. If you want all of that color to be replaced on your image, regardless if it's touching the same color or not, hold shift when clicking to replace all of that color on your image. If you want to make something invisible, just click on the red slash and then click on your image. You can also use the gradient options to blend two different colors of an image using one of the three gradients at the top of the color picker. The eraser tool allows you to erase different parts of the image. Like the brush tool, you can change the size of the eraser and even zoom in or out with the magnifiers at the bottom corner of the screen to make it easier to erase something. The select tool allows you to select an area of an image and move it around by dragging or rotating it by grabbing the arrows at the bottom of the highlighted box and rotating the layers. If you hold shift while rotating, the image will snap to 45 degree turns. If you grab the corner or edges of a box, you can resize the image to make it smaller or larger. Hold shift when dragging to turn off maintaining the same aspect ratio. You can flip the vertical and horizontal orientation of what you have selected using the tools at the top or even copy and paste. The arrows at the top of the screen allow you to undo and redo changes. Note that if you convert a vector image into a bitmap, it gives you the tools of a bitmap image, but you can't convert it back into vector without losing the layers, groups, and original quality. So it's best to keep the vector image as a vector image if you don't want to lose those tools or quality. But I've got another video that talks about those tools. Check out my playlist for even more scratch tips or to learn how to teach computer science.